Mwah! Right? Hi, stylists! Welcome back to the Full Style Ink channel for another video! I am the creator and founder of Full Style Ink, Nadia, and I'm so excited! <laughs> oh, guys, it has been a long time since I've sat down and just had like a nice one on one talk with you, chat with you, share some things. As you can tell by the title below, that this is a fall transitional must have fashion discussion video. It has been so long since I had one of these. I am in one of my OG spots in my house, and that is in front of my closet with my little earrings, fashion decor, dusters, and jackets hanging. The OGs recognize this spot. Ah, I'm so excited. So, Grab you guys some tea and a nice little snack because this is going to be one. Now, I'm not going to try to make this too long, but I do have some things I want to talk about. So, we are well into fall right now. By the time of this video is the first week of October. So very excited. I've already busted out some of my fall clothing. I slowly did my transition um, from moving out my summer clothing and fall clothing because... A lot of my wardrobe is all year round. It can be transitional. And that's what I want to talk about. I want to talk about must have key transitional pieces for the fall. Today, I'm just going to show you guys some important key pieces to have for the fall. Now, understand, this is not you have to have these in your closet. This is These are not important essentials. These are completely optional, highly suggested. Again, I'm going to be pulling examples that can be found on the lower end, such as thrifting or DIY, all the way up into the higher end. And I will, of course, add examples here on the screen and also personal ways that I have styled these pieces myself. Number one, and a lot of you guys should already know this because one of my favorite clothing items of all times are da -da -da -da, button ups. I absolutely love button ups. <laughs> Wearing one now. This is a man's button up that I thrifted, I believe, either earlier this year, or last year. Button ups are so a, a staple, a basic. A, I believe they are a basic and a staple in any one wardrobe. Whether it's a man's button up, a woman's button up, whether it's a long sleeve button up or a short sleeve button up. Button ups are so multifaceted they can be dressed up dressed down you can wear them under stuff over stuff you can wear them with paired with different other things button ups are the key to any one wardrobe whether you are a fashion gal or you just like to you know give it a little spice every time some of my ways to style button ups are underneath something like this as this sweater vest or style tucked into a cute little skirt or styled on their own in an oversized way and worn as like a dress. Or with some cute little shorts underneath it just to give a little pick of skin. I love button-ups. Or as basic as wearing button-ups with a pair of classic jeans and some sneakers. And then of course in the, with, as the weather get colder you can throw over a jacket or a blazer and you have a whole nother look. I love button-ups. You will have to catch me. You will have to catch me without having any button ups in my wardrobe like i said i've owned button ups from different price ranges um and i really shop high end i'm not there yet but <laughs> some like other high you know high street brands as well as thrifted and some button ups i have reconstructed or made on my own i absolutely love button ups number two now i'm not a girly girl but i have my moments but I cannot resist the beauty, the multifaceted, the fun that a beautiful skirt can bring to any look. I love a good skirt. Whether she's pleated, whether she's a maxi, whether she's a midi. I don't really go with midi, but I do love a midi skirt. <sighs> I love a good skirt. 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 And I'm talking pencil skirt, jersey skirt, A-line, full skirt, ruffle skirt tear skirt i love a good skirt skirts are multi-fascinating just as the button up you can wear them all season a pencil skirt literally a good nice quality pencil skirt 
in a nice heavy either jersey or even like a rayon or cotton material can be worn all season all year round because you can wear it on its own when it's a little lighter and cooler with a cute tank or a nice tee or you can wear it with a nice chunky sweater or a button up and a blazer and if your legs are a little cold depending on the length of the skirt you can always pair it with a nice pair of tights um or leggings or a nice cute pair of thick socks just where the end of the skirt meets your calves or your ankles with a nice chunky boot ah oh, so cute ah and also for full skirts again the whole trend now where skirts are being i'm gonna say that one for later the whole trend now is all about layering and multi-dimensional you can take that skirt and pin it and ruch it and give it a different draping and effect to it where it almost takes on a whole new look and a personality and that same skirt that you wore just flat out can look differently when you add a, a, a scrunchy tie to it to tie it up or knot it up or add a brooch to it to pin it up towards a waistline and give a little leg to the people with a pair of cute tights or color tights. Like, I love skirts. I love skirts. Don't sleep on them. They are essential. Even as I said, I'm not a girly girl, but I do have my moments. And honestly, I feel like skirts have become androgynous, androgynous as of late. We've seen man style skirts and dresses. So why not add that into your more tomboyish street style looks? And speaking of androgynous and speaking of skirts and Larry, I want to go on to number three. And that is maxi dresses or maybe a loose, more fitted dress with a little bit more length. Now, I'm not a girl who get into midis. However, a nice, good quality mat, maxi length dress can be worn so many ways as we go into the cooler months. You can throw a sweater over it. You can throw a button up underneath it. You can also get into this trend right now that is real popular that I have already that I have myself partaken in last year and earlier this year, wearing pants under your dresses. Yes, you hold me. You hold me. You hurt me. Wearing jeans or pants under your dresses to add depth and dimension and layer to them. Whether you wear it flat out and just have the poke of the pants coming through, especially a nice pair of like, fitted tailor pants a cigarette pants or leather leggings or leather leather pants with a nice long maxi skirt that has like a split on the side or like a button up maxi skirt they have like a split in the middle and you get that peak of that color or that texture or that pattern going through as you walk oh mm, mm, mm. It's, it's so good. Or if you take and have fun with that maxi, pinning it up, ruching it up, pulling it up in something in some way with a scrunchie or a brooch to give a little depth and dimension to give a little drape effect on the thigh, on the leg, on the hip. And you have that peak of the pants. Ah, love it. That is so chic that is so dope that is so fun and it plays right into the street style effect where it's adding depth and dimension and getting that hard and that soft you get the hardness of the pants and you get the softness and the flowiness of the dress <sighs> can you can you tell that i'm obsessed number five number five yes number five is a piece that i am learning to love I am learning the importance of having multiples of it different variations of it in my wardrobe I don't know when I not start, I don't know when I started, I don't know where in my life I went from not paying attention on the importance of a good dope tea, a crisp white tea, or a nice basic grounding black tea, or a fun graphic tea, but I looked up one day and I'm like, I don't own enough t-shirts. A nice good tea, whether I know there's a trend now that basics are trendy i don't understand it but t-shirts a tee whether it's white whether it's black whether it's even gray are trendy and they're a nice good staple and basic to have in your wardrobe all season around again depending on the style fit of that tee you can wear simply in the summertime with a pair of jeans or a pair of shorts or tucked into a skirt and voila you have a look you look put together with a pair of sneakers 
or sandals and you go. Oh, also in the fall and winter time, you can tuck that same white tee or black tee and gray tee. You can tuck it into a pair of pants, have it like slouch half, half tuck in a pair of fitted pants, throw a blazer over it, maybe like a matching suit or off matching. You can add it to color block or to have a color contrast in a pair of pants or a jacket or a skirt. Also, you can wear that tee under a dress if you want to add a little bit more depth and dimension. If you have a beautiful dress that has like either an open neckline or a thin straps on the shoulder, but you don't want to be cold. So you throw a tee underneath and a blazer over or a jacket. You have a look. Tees come in so many different types of textures and fabrics and colorways now that you can get a sequence tee, you can get a leather tee, you can get a satin silk tee. You can use those basics, those essentials in their different formats and different ways to create layers and dimensions in your wardrobe. And honestly, I am here for it. I need more tees. I need more t-shirts. And I'm talking about not just, not just basic t-shirts, graphic t-shirts. I on the hunt seriously in the thrift store or other small stores i just don't want to see i don't see myself paying 45 dollars for a t-shirt unless it's for like an, art, an artist tee or like i went to a, i went to a concert and it's like that tour tee i would still wear that i would just probably distress it so i'm on the hunt for like vintage tees from like bands and stuff like that i love a good example of what you can do with tees is angeline from the blueprint diy she has several YouTube tutorials on, she has several tutorials on the different ways you can upcycle, style, and reuse the tees that you found in the thrift store that are literally sitting there because they are special tees or custom graphic tees from like an anniversary or a family reunion or like a school. I, my plan is to get my hands on some of those and have some fun with it. A dope t-shirt dress or whatever. So, tees are so important this is so fun because number six comes in different categories and those categories for number six are everything that falls under vest. ah i love a good vest now the three categories that i have come up with now i'm not gonna say this is universal this is standard that i come up with are one sweater vest two a tailored men's vest or what the E. Waterings of Victoria would have called a woman's waistcoat vest. Something a little bit more fitted, a little bit more tailored. Three, uh, a vest jacket. So that's like almost like a sleeveless blazer, long line, or cropped vest. I love a vest. I love a vest. I am going to love and appreciate vest more and more. As you can see here, a nice sweater vest can be layered in so many different so many different ways over a button up, over a tee, over a long sleeve top, a, a turtleneck, ugh, or simply worn on its own over a pair of jeans with a blazer or a jacket. Like give it, give it life, give it life with a pair of loafers. Mm. A sweater vest with a T or a button up, but a sweater vest with a pair of jeans or a pair of loafers, hot, like platform high top loafers, creepers that they used to call them, I think, and like a jacket, like a blazer or like a moto jacket. Oh my God. I need to get me some loafers. Now, a man's tailored vest or a woman's waistcoat vest whatever they are called, those fitted ones, it's almost like corset-like. One, right? So, again, you can layer them over a button-up, over a tee, or you can layer them over mm, 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 another dress. Mm, and add, especially like a, a, a nice, loose, flowy dress and you can add that hardness over it that structure over it and then throw a jacket like just have it draped over your shoulders girl where you going you look good baby i'm currently gonna work to construct two vests for the fall and winter season because i have plans so good so good and i even like how the young ma man's 
I even like how in man's fashion, the vest are coming back. The three-piece suit is coming back, and I love it. You can see my own rendition of a three-piece suit here up above or down below in the playlist. <sighs> I love it. And so, number three in this category of vest is that long line duster vest that sleeveless duster vest that sleeveless blazer as you will vest they're really popular i know for a fact that i've seen several brands companies launches of these sleeveless blazers these vests um one in particular is to align with a black owned content creator a black content creator with target she has these beautiful vests and these different prints and greens and reds and this like hounds to i unfortunately didn't get nothing from this launch i'm very upset about it i don't want to talk about it but for the sake of this video i would mention it because they are absolutely beautiful and i've been seeing other people i follow on instagram and tiktok and some of my friends style their vests and i'm just like oh Good job, Frank. Good job. I love it. I'm going to make my own because I'm sick of it. I will be at the thrift store ripping the sleeves off a, a, a blazer because honestly, anywho, those vests are perfect. You can wear them, sweaters, button up over a long sleeve dress that you have and just add that layer and texture. You get the look of a jacket. You get that, that layer and that dimension of a jacket, but without having your arms restricted so you can wear it with a chunky sweater or a thicker top. And those weather in the seasons and the days where it's not cold enough to wear a full-on jacket and a sweater. Number seven. Wait, I've, I've totally lost count. Number five, number seven, is something that I also love. You guys, my, my OGs, OGs know I love shorts. I love bringing shorts from the summer into the fall with a pair of tights. Ah! And right now, color tights are so trendy, so popular. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get my pair on something because I haven't really seen none in plus size, but I'm going to figure it out. Even if I got to go dye my own. But tights, shorts paired with tights are so stinking cute with a nice boot oh, and a nice chunky sweater or a blazer. It's so cute. It's so cute. I love it. I've been wearing, I've been styling shorts like this for years, for years. I refuse to put away my shirts if I can wear them with tights. I mean, dress it up, dress it down. A pair of cute sparkly tights or like a bejeweled study tights, which are so popular, with a pair of more dressier shorts, whether they're satin or silk or sequins. Mm, 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 mm. That's a party look. I'm so excited. <sighs> I'm so excited that people are getting on the train. Like, get here. It's fun. I promise you, you're going to love it. Last one. The very last one I have already mentioned, and it's one against one of my favorite items of clothing near and dear to my heart are blazers. I love blazers, men's blazers, women's blazers, light blazers, heavier, thicker blazers, printed solid color blazers, crop blazers, long line blazers. I love blazers, blazers dress. I love blazers. They're a good time. They're a good time. Blazers are so fun. Again, blazers all year round, but definitely transition them. If you have more of a light woven blazer with a little bit more drape and you're not ready to let go of it and the color really ties into what you're feeling for the fall, you can always pair it with a long sleeve shirt, a button up, a turtleneck with long sleeves. Um, or a turtleneck with crop short sleeves and get that blazer look. And some places <laughs> are still holding on to 60, 70 degree weather. So a nice thin blazer with a long sleeve shirt is perfect for out and about when it's not that cold yet to be wearing our more heavier, um, sturdier blazers. And again, those heavier, sturdier blazers can take the form of a jacket when it's not like... 20 degrees when it's a nice 40 50 a nice crisp 40 50 degrees a nice chunky sweater or a nice thinner sweater with a blazer is sometimes all that you need and i love it i'm here for it i love a blazer honestly especially when it's night out 
and we have a beautiful sexy or just you know absolutely stunning look and we want a jacket because we don't want to be too cold but we don't want to bring like a traditional coat a nice man's boxy blazer that add that just position of hard and soft draped over your shoulders mm, absolutely stunning oh i see it i see the girls and i'm just like mm, yes bravo 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 i love it can y'all tell that i'm like just really hyped fall all is where I get my life. Yes, stylers. So, stylers, that is my list, list of seven must-have key transitional pieces that you need, if you want, <laughs> that everyone should have in their wardrobe. Honestly, again, completely optional, highly recommended, not so essential, essential staples that you need in your fall and winter wardrobe. <sighs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I have. I, I had a ball. I had a ball sitting here with myself. It's been so long since I sat down and talked to you guys that I felt like I had to do a little extra. So, I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what are some of your favorite fall pieces. What is something that you gravitate to season after season, year after year, when fall and winter come around that you cannot be without? What is something? Is it a button-up? Is it a blazer? Is it a sweater vest? Is it sweaters? What is it? Let me know. I would love to hear from you guys. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. Remember that you are loved and you are worthy to be loved, but most importantly, always remember to love yourself fully. Until next time. Mm -hmm.